Eight points from the last five Premier League out teams. That sort of ratio, and possibly better, must now be sustained between now and the end of the season if Villa are to have a chance of survival. As for the visitors, they've blown hot and cold this term, struggling to find any consistency under Jurgen Klopp in the top flight, and they suffered an energy-sapping, morale-knocking extra-time FA Cup loss at West Ham in midweek. The Reds lie in a classic mid-table position, going into this top flight weekend, 12 points off the top four, 12 points off the relegation zone. The home team still adrift at the bottom, but recent form and results have been encouraging. The stage is set then, Froggy. What are your thoughts on this one? It should be a really entertaining game. I mean, traditionally, the, the, this game, particularly Villa Park, has been one down the years that's brought lots of exciting football and, and plenty of goals. And it, it'll be fascinating to see the two teams play, because if you look at the form guide right now, in the league, our form's better than Liverpool's. Mm. You know, since they got into the, the League Cup final, they've been a bit all over the place. I mean, in all honesty, they've, they've chopped and changed in the cup ties, he's made lots of changes, played the kids, Jurgen Klopp, and also they have had their fair share of injuries with the likes of, obviously, Daniel Sturridge, who's now coming back, Coutinho, who's been one of their best players for two yeah. years. So they're starting to get their bigger players back into the fold. And to borrow a phrase from another broadcaster, it really is a super Sunday. You've got uh, Leicester and Arsenal, Spurs and Man City, and in between, Villa Liverpool. And this is the only one we care about. It's all about trying to get another three points on the board. Yes, yeah, so for all Villa fans, if you look at the form book guide in the Premier League the last few six weeks, it makes far better reading. Yeah. You know, we're solid. We're starting to get that solidity about us that we've not had all season. The, you know, the back five, including the goalkeeper, look solid, don't they? We don't look like we're likely to concede too many goals, uh, particularly in the league games. You know, take the Man City game in isolation. And, and that's a real positive. Gabby's come back in, massive for him and his confidence scoring a goal. The fact he plays on the shoulder of the, the central defenders and gives us that pacey outlet going forward, for, particularly for the, the flair players, Carlos Hill, Veratu, who like to play the ball in behind and pick a pass, that's great for them as well. So, you know, all in all, it should be you know, a really entertaining game. And, and on the back of Liverpool, you know, losing another cup tie, mm. 90 minutes extra time penalties. I know there was, he made a lot of changes and I think he bring a lot of his big guns back for the weekend. You will hope that there's that residual tiredness in them and, and we can get at them very early on in the game. It's still a tall order, but it is doable yeah. if they sustain that belief and they keep looking solid at the back. Hope will gain, Jack, as each game we win goes by. Mm. You know, the, it was a must-win game. It was an absolute must-win game because had we not won that game, I think that would have rubber-stamped almost in effect relegation for us. The fact we've reeled Norwich in, it's dropped them into the bottom three. Teams above, you go up to West Brom now, we're only just six points above and their, their form's not very good right now. If we can pinch a couple of wins in the next three, four games, that starts heaping enormous amounts of pressure on those in those positions that only a few weeks ago thought, well, we're safe, we're OK. Because no, you're not. But it's down to us to, 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 make, them, to make that happen. Mm. Um, and I, I do think defensively we, we're more solid now. Set pieces, we start to look a threat with Big Jolie. And he, he scored a few goals you know, in mm. recent weeks. He looks a threat from set mm. pieces and corners. Yeah, you, you don't want to get over hopeful, but it's a really good start beating Norwich. It's a great start. We've got some difficult games mm. coming up. If you go into March, we've got a really tough month. So we need to probably generate as many points as we can up until that month arrives. OK, enjoy it and wrap it warm over the weekend. Oh, it's going to be a chilly one. Uh, much more analysis over on ABTV. Tony Morley with me for live commentary on Sunday. We'll see you then.